come over to the library in the places you just have splice. So you can see you've got all the usual stuff like the home, the library, and just like with the Ableton loops, if you are playing the project, it will also sync up too. And of course, if we wanted to add this loop in, we just drag and drop it straight in. It'll download the sample and it's already in your project. And that brings us on to this feature here called search with sound. All I'm going to do is I'm going to select this part of my track. And we can just click on search with sound. What I think it does is it exports out this section of our project. It has an analyze of that audio file and then it will give you suggestions on what it thinks you could add. Let's just have a quick listen. From some of the tests I've done, it does work quite well with percussion loops, but it doesn't always necessarily get the key of the song right, which can be a little bit annoying. You can even just drag a clip directly onto that section there. Even a MIDI clip is implemented so well, but you don't have to open up another plugin. You can literally just click on splice. <laughs> 